Hey everybody, it's Felisa. So um, I am currently in Jamaica, Yaman, and I'm staying at the Sandals Ochi Resort. Um, I wanted to do kind of like a mini walkthrough, uh, just in case anyone is interested in coming and staying at this property and kind of giving my thoughts um, after I, I do that. So I will turn the, the camera around. I don't know why I don't have like rear facing view camera. Uh, availability but I'm gonna do the best that I can so this would be like the the entryway um, as you come into the the room this is um, the closet which you know I feel like it's pretty spacious um, sandals is a couple of resort and so you, you more than likely will have two people in the room I'll explain why I'm solo dolo in a few minutes this is the restroom um i'll kind of avoid my womanly foolishness but you know there is a um, a pretty decent tub um vanity etc etc um this is kind of i assume that it was it would serve as a quasi mini bar and then there is um the fridge here and it's pretty well stocked um juice the room that i'm staying in um, has complimentary juice soda beer and wine if you get one of the butler suites it does include um spirits uh, as i'm told so you know we come in here i'm watching it <laughs> I muted it, but this is, you know, the view of the, the room. I apologize for the disarray, um, more about that later. But as you come over here, here's a, a mini, like a little sitting area with a, a lamp. Um, I assume that you can do your iPod or smart device from this um, location and then every room has um, like its own balcony etc etc it would be helpful if I if I open all right so you can come out here you can see like private seating area and then that's a pool area I think that that's like the smoking, whatever. People who are intent on developing COPD. I um, mean, that's a play pond over there. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful. So, let me tell y'all what happened yesterday. So, I get in and... Um, First of all, check-in is at three o'clock. I think I got here a little bit before three. So anyone that is planning a trip, you need to keep that in mind because you're not gonna be able to check in before three under most circumstances. So my flight left at 8 a.m. And I was thinking, oh, you know, yay, I'll be able to get there, have, you know, some time. I counted Saturday as a full day. Oh, no, no, no. First of all, you fly into Montego Bay to get to Ochi and um, Sandals does have a really nice lounge that you can wait in, but the ride to Ochi is gonna be about 90 minutes. So no matter what time your flight gets in, you're gonna have to wait at the lounge for the, the transportation, transportation. And then it's gonna be another like 90 minutes before you even get to the resort. So we didn't get here, even though my flight landed at I think 11.30, I didn't get to the resort until like 2.30, a quarter to three. Check-in was at three. They told me that they were um, getting my room ready. Okay, wonderful. So I, I, you know, I waited, got into my room. Um, there was some kind of white powder on my floor. They told me that it was the carpet air freshener, but yeah, I watch entirely too much Dateline and too much, you know, IDTV for me to believe that, you know, any white powder on my floor is just innocuous and harmless. Um, not only that, but there was some kind of like bugs in my shower. Like they look like moths, but they were just hanging out on the ceiling and I don't like, I don't do bugs and I'm definitely not about to shower with them. Um, so, and then my mini bar or my mini fridge was completely empty except for like a half a Sprite. 
And so I called on to the front desk. They promised me that they would send somebody up. They did send someone up within the hour, I want to say, to restock the fridge. But that was like the least of my concerns. Like there was bugs hanging out in my shower and there was some something white on my, my, um, my carpet. So they eventually sent someone up to address that. I actually told them that I was getting ready to leave my room. Um, I had some prearranged festivities that I was going to go participate in. I came, I left at like 6.30. I came back at 9.30. Nobody had been in my room. Like everything was still the same. So I called on to the front desk. They're like, oh, you know, we'll send someone up. Send this woman up. Um, but I sit on the bed and I look over on the wall and lo and behold, there is a rope, like an entire roach. Like I, if y'all go back and look at my vlog on roaches, that'll give you some indication as to how I feel about this and probably give you a clue as to how badly I cut the F up. Like I, I was not going to be able to take it. So I called down to the front desk. Um, and at, by that time I was packed, <laughs> like I was not playing no games. I was packed and I told them that they needed to move me to another room. Otherwise I was going to be calling Delta, um, for them to send me home. I was not kidding. I was not kidding at all. So this is the new room that they put me in. You know, I want to stress that they did move me. They did accommodate me yesterday. This room seems to be, you know, pretty decent. Um, I did sleep with all the lights on as I should. Um, but I, you know, I just was so bothered by that. And, you know, just the nonchalant attitude of the managerial staff and the front, you know, the front, you know, staff, they're like, you know, we're sorry, but it did, just did not feel like it was accommodations, but I do recognize that I'm in another country. Um, perhaps I'm used to American fawning. I have no idea. I am happy that I was moved. I am, you know, pretty satisfied with the room that I have here. Um, for the amount that you pay for these resorts, though, you would think that there would be more attention to detail, more, um, I don't know, more, you know, kind of, of customer service uh, focused things, but whatever. I'm hoping that I will enjoy the rest of my stay. There's no indication that I won't. Um, and of course, I recognize that, you know, a lot of that is up to me. But I did want to come and give that perspective because I know that sometimes people don't always um, have the best reviews. And it's not really my intention to review the resort. It's more of these are my experiences. And it may just be a one off. Maybe it was just a, a bad day and I happen to be the bad day selector. I have no idea. But I did want to come out and I wanted to say that. I hope that you guys are having an amazing week. I'm going to try and find a Jamaican stepfather for my children. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I will talk to y'all later on. Bye.